गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद द यूनिट टू आई होप ऑल द डाउट्स रिलेटेड टू डायमेंशन एंड एरर एनालिसिस वॉज क्लियर टू यू सो नाउ इन यूनिट टू द नेक्स्ट स्टॉप आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग द डिस्टेंस एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट इन द लास्ट लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू दिस आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज स्पीड वॉट इज स्पीड इट इज डिफाइंड एज द डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाई द ऑब्जेक्ट इन अ गिवन टाइम इंटरवल राइट क्या है ये डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाय द ऑब्जेक्ट इन अ गिवन टाइम इंटरवल और यू कैन से द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ पोजीशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इन अ गिवन टाइम आई थिंक इट इज क्लियर टू यू ऑल ऑफ यू हैव स्टडीड इट इन क्लास नाइन्थ आल्सो एंड व्हाट इज इट्स यूनिट इट इज इट्स यूनिट इज मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड इन एस सिस्टम इट इज अ स्केलर क्वान्टिटी इन सी जी एस सिस्टम इट इज सेंटीमीटर पर सेकेंड एंड वॉट इज इट्स डायमेंशन फॉर्मूला एम जीरो एल वन टी माइनस वन Now, after this uniform speed, student, you know that if an object cover equal distance in equal interval of time, then the speed of the object is said to be uniform. For example, if you take at time t equal to zero, the distance covered by the body is zero. At five second, it covers twenty meter. At ten second, it is at forty meter. Means this is a position. फिफ्टीन सेकेंड पर इसकी पोजिशन सिक्सटी मीटर फॉर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड पर पोजिशन एटी मीटर सो इफ यू प्लॉट दिस ग्राफ right so what is the shape of the graph you will get it is straight line means the object cover equal distance in equal interval of time however small these time intervals may be yani aap ye time intervals kitne bhi small rakhein aap kya rahega aapka ye equal distance cover karega equal interval of time now how we can calculate the speed you can mark any two point here i have taken this is 40 and this is 60 At time fifteen second it is at forty meter. At time fifteen second it is at sixty meter. So speed is distance divided by time. Sixty minus forty divided by fifteen minus ten that is equal to four meter per second. Students, speed of position time graph tell you about this. Uh, slope of position time graph tells you about the speed. Already in mathematical tools I have discussed if the graph is straight line. This is position time graph. If this graph is straight line, how you can calculate its slope? You will mark the two points here, A and B, corresponding to A. The position is x one, and corresponding to B, the position is x two. And at point A, the time is t one, and at point B, the time is t two. So, what is the slope? It is y coordinate. Y coordinate पे आपकी क्या है position? So, x two minus x one divided by x coordinate is t two minus T one, right, student? So you can write it as delta x upon delta t. Delta x means the small change in the position. Delta t is the small change in time. So for uniform speed, the graph is straight line. Now after this, we have variable speed. An object is said to be moving with variable speed if it covers unequal distance in equal interval of time, or vice versa, right? So we will see it with the example. Here at time t equal to zero, the position is zero. At one second, it is this time is in second, right? So at one second, it is four meter. At two second, it is ten meter. Three second, per twenty meter. Four second, per thirty five meter. So how will the graph be? It is a curve. It is a curve for variable speed. Now, average speed. When an object is moving with the variable speed, then average speed of the object is that constant speed with which the object covers the same distance in a given time. तो आप average speed का formula क्या लिखेंगे? Total distance covered divided by total time taken. Average speed is the total distance covered in a total time given interval of time. Now instantaneous speed. The speed of an object at a particular instant of time is called as instantaneous speed. The speedometer of your vehicle measures with speed instantaneous speed. Instant, kisi time pe. So, isme humne ye kaha at time t. Agar hum baat kare instantaneous speed ki at time t. Suppose the position is x. Right at time after time t plus delta t. This delta t time is a very small. In which what is the distance it covers? Small de, x plus delta x. So what is the time interval? Time interval means this time minus this time t plus delta t minus of t. This get cancel out and it is delta t. What is the position it covers? 
x plus delta x minus x it get cancel out you will get delta x so now what is the instantaneous speed it is delta x upon delta t if this time interval is very small that we will put limit ye humne derivative differentiation mein kya tha limit delta t tending to zero what is it become dx upon dt how the position vary with time this is the derivative of x with respect to time differentiation of x with respect to time this is the instantaneous speed clear student okay in the next video i will tell you about the average speed in two different situation thank you